Hey everyone, today we're back at SeaWorld Orlando to check out their Hollow Scream event as we step inside all of their haunted houses, scare zones, and most importantly, have a fun night. So let's go ahead and have a great day adventure. Now just a little heads up before we get into Hollow Scream tonight, if Mickey's Not the Scary Halloween Party at Walt Disney World and SeaWorld Spectacular are the spookiest events you want to see this season, then this video may not be for you. This event, unlike Spooktacular, is aimed at an adult audience with violence and blood inside of all the haunted house and scare zones, as this event may be too intense for some. In addition, there will be a spoiler warning for anyone who doesn't want to see any spoilers for any houses and scare zones, so viewer discretion is advised. With SeaWorld's Apollo Scream 2024, it is an event that is haunting SeaWorld Orlando now through November 3rd. There is several scare zones, five haunted houses, and two shows that's happening multiple times per day. Out front, there is the Hollow Scream Call Fade sign. Since this year, the theme is the Calls Fade. Now, as soon as you head in, there will be the ticket entrance. And something that confuses a lot of people is that the entrance is actually going to be on the right side of SeaWorld. You're not going through the entrance normally. You're actually going through an alternative entrance for here. Once we're at Hollow Scream, the first scare zone will be Seeds of the Coven, where the line between nature and nightmare blurs in the sinister reality, a place where the natural world has turned against humanity, twisted by the dark arts in a landscape of fear and peril with witches and their horrific creatures. When it comes to our first stop, there is Flames Pizza. Here they have pepperoni flatbread pizza, cheese flatbread pizza, a 3X flatbread pizza with a choice of cheese or pepperoni. There's also churros, popcorn, and a skull pretzel. They also serve the Feeding Frenzy and the Sinister Eats lanyards. That also includes a one full-size cocktail included with the souvenir Hollow Scream Mug Punch. Now let's talk about the upgrades because there are the feeding frenzy lanyards like the six punch sample lanyard for $45, an eight punch sample lanyard for $60. There's also the frontline fear pass with frontline fear extreme starting at $80 where it gets you frontline access to all five houses, four rides and observe seeing the monster stomp. And of course there's also frontline fear which starts at $60, which just grants you access to all five haunted houses for frontline access. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And now we are inside of Sacrificial Spirits, the first bar nearby the entrance of Hollow Scream. And usually they have some performers performing up on the stage. There are some alcoholic beverages like a Sacrificial Spirits, Siren's Kiss, a Poison Apple, Hex, Raven's Blood, Raven's Blood, Curse of the Bayou, Flame, and some other bottled brews, seltzers, and wine. And I think right now, they have to go ahead and watch the opening ceremony. While we let that crowd die down a bit, let's head inside Shops of Horror because inside of Shops of Horror they have plenty of merchandise from t-shirts to goodie bags and more. I will admit this store is kind of cool with all the details and set pieces here, especially with the skeletons and sometimes the scare actors can actually come in here so there's a good chance you might see one. Now there's a bunch of Hollow Scream cotton candy, a boo t-shirt, a sheet lit shirt, a brown class ornament, a coffin mug, 
a hollow scream shirt, these skull torch wands where these are zone activated as it interacts with different scare zones. They also light up and you can play tag with other skull torch wands as well. On top of that, there's a fleece throw blanket, a skull shirt, shot glasses, mugs, long sleeve shirts, an emit one shirt. There's also a tank top and a shirt for hollow scream. Also with the spider and the Frank sign lanyards, these are the no boo necklaces. So you can let monsters know to not scare you. And they're available for $15. There's some mugs, tumbler cups, purses, and shot glasses. There's some Hollow Scream merchandise with the Hollow Scream Varsity shirt, a Hollow Scream t-shirt, jacket, long sleeve sweatshirt, bags, and cups. Alright, so for our next scare zone, we're going to be heading inside of Blood Light District. Now for our first haunted house tonight, it's going to be for Ultimate Gamble, where you step inside of a casino. As this is a brand new haunted house for this year's event, as the stakes are life and death. And then there's also Delirium 666 after Ultimate Gamble, where you step inside the headquarters of a unique mercenary group. However, there is a threat posed by the sirens and other sea creatures, where you might not be alone on your journey, as this is a returning favorite haunted house.
Keep it pushing, people. You got it. Catch that is waiting. Looks like you suck at gambling. Are you ready to die? to be checking out the second bar with Tormented, themed to an arctic hellscape as you can encounter performers and grab some drinks such as the Frost Vodka, the Poison Apple Rum and Wine, Bottled Brews, High Noon Seltzer, and Wine. 
Next up is going to be Siren's Song. This is a show that's happening at 8.15, 9.15, 10.15, and 11.15 here. This is located at Wild Arctic, soon to be a brand new theater attraction coming to us 25 and Tormented Bar. We're going to go ahead and watch Siren's Song. Howl and scream, howl and scream. It is too late to run from the sea. My twin sisters, Frost and Flame, will bite and burn you with no shame. You will hurt our mother. Now we will hurt you. Nearby Toxic Turmoil, there is unfortunate food booth. They have a teriyaki chicken hibachi served with fried rice, a crispy sushi, vegetable crispy dumplings, and some drinks like the Black Widow, Bald Brews, and wine. And now we have our very own teriyaki chicken hibachi. Let's go ahead and dig in. No joke, Bob. The teriyaki chicken. It's actually really good. There's a bit of kick to it, especially with the chicken, the rice, and the sauce that's on here. I think this is really good for sure. And it's definitely something I'd get again. Up next, we're going to go ahead and head inside of Toxic Turmoil. What are you looking at? Oh. <laughs> I thought someone was going. Oh, there is. For our next haunted house, we're entering inside of Water's Edge Wellness Center. New this house green, Water's Edge Wellness Center takes you into a wellness center once promised serenity and rejuvenation. Today, it stands as a reminder of a past shrouded in mystery and dark secrets where the line between the living and the dead is blurred as you go into an unforgettable journey into the macabre as the horrors of the past come to life.
don't trust the doctors. So we just got out of the wellness center. Now, I think that house was one of my favorites. They got me a lot in that one. I like the concept of an abandoned wellness center that's haunted. And just like the other house, set pieces and scare actors were good. And right next door is going to be Farm 51. So that being said, let's go ahead and head over there. New for this year's event, there is Farm 51, where you stumble upon a abandoned farmhouse in the middle of nowhere as it's being invaded by extraterrestrial visitors that echo in the darkness. They've crash landed and they are not friendly. So let's go ahead and head inside. Here. <laughs> 
soon as you exit from Farm 51, there is Space Gate 3. Here they have all sorts of bottle brews like a SeaWorld 60th IPA, a 2002 Draft, High Noon seltzers, wine, and beverages like a Cosmic Elixir, Hex, a Poison Apple, and a Pumpkin Ginger Fizz. Now I think the house is so cool in terms of its design and costumes. I feel like if there's any house that wins that title, it is definitely this. Overall, I think right now we actually have one more haunted house we have and then we're actually done. Let's go ahead and head over to our next house before we get soaked. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Now our next scare zone is going to be Paradise. Now our next scare zone is actually going to be Paradise Palms. In this scare zone, you're actually entering through an abandoned motel with all sorts of creatures here. Hello. Yeah. It's a vacation to die for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there is a food booth here with Jack the Ripper Eats. Here they have a vampire burger, sidewinder fries, a battered Cajun cauliflower bites, a vampire blood drink, a bruise, and wine. There's also siren spirits serving all sorts of alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks, like a scratch blood bag, a hex, a frost, darkness, flame, and scratch. There's also bottled brews and wine. Now, before we head into our final haunted house of the night, we're actually going to go through Terrors of Deep. Now, Terrors of Deep is actually located here nearby Mako, and you're going underwater where you experience all sorts of creatures that lurk throughout the ocean. Uh-oh. For our last haunted house, there is Lantis Journey Below, where you step into the depths of the unknown, shrouded with mystery, dark legends, and sinister sea creatures. So let's go ahead and head inside.
When it comes to Atlantis, I think there are some cool set pieces and costumes inside, along with some good scares. However, I wish there was a bit more scares inside, as I think this house was decent at best, and it's probably my least favorite house out of all the five houses here at Hollow Scream. Here at Shots of Courage, there's one mystery shot where you spin wheel if you dare, and there's some bottle brews like a High Noon and a Corona, Heineken, Modelo, and a Yingling. Meanwhile, right next door, there is Mercado de los Muertos. Here they have a inside out slider, a Philly cheesesteak, a zombie taco. There is roadkill hot dogs. Here they have a bacon jam dog, devil dog, nacho dog, a roadkill wreckage drink, brews, and wine. And we're now here at Cannibal Harbor. <laughs> Oh, what do you look at this? We got leg cap off. Oh, okay then. Yeah, we already ate the other one, sorry. So. Oh, okay. Then. No distress. Alright. Right. Yeah. Right. Have a great night. You too. Oh. Let's move on quickly. Hey, this is for your oh, wait. Oh, what? This is TikTok. What are you looking at, weirdo? And now we're actually here at Longshoreman Tavern, which is actually a playing craft bar. Here they have seltzers, wine, bottled brews, rotating brews, and darkness and poison apple, along with chicken tenders and a crispy chicken sandwich. Well, hi everybody. Hello. We're the Longshoremen. We work along the shore. All right then. Come and see us here at Hallow Street. Next up is going to be Carnival Pier. There's all sorts of clowns. You're stepping into a twisted carnival. Let's head inside and join the carnival. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's I haven't not. gotten as many sacrifices as, uh, as I normally get. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Have a great night. Okay. <laughs> now, next up, there's the Cheeto Flaming Hot Carney Treats. They have the Nightmare Nachos, the Monster Munch Mac and Cheese, Crunchy Cheese Fries, Caramel Popcorn, Cotton Candy, a Hatchet Pretzel, and some other drinks. Also, there's Carnival the Mirror, right here, Ringmaster here. Rebound, <laughs> and a Carnival Curiosities with alcoholic you know, beverages. And last but not least, there's also the Lizard Man who does all sorts of stunts. And I should warn you all, please don't try any of this at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's okay, it's okay. First time I saw somebody do this, I forgot to applaud too. Yeah, I just lobotomized myself with a fork. The least you can do is clap your hands together a couple of times. You know what I mean? The fork is just the warm-up, you see. Now it's time to get more serious. With my cranial corkscrew. Here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna take the tip of it right there. You've heard that before, just the tip. And I'm gonna place it in my nose like the fork. relationship together I want to take it to the next level if we're gonna do that I'm gonna do it responsibly
and that was a fun night here at Hollow Scream. This was my first time actually going low and end. Honestly, when it comes to the Hollow Scream, I'd highly recommend it. It is an amazing event. All the houses were incredible tonight. These characters really did an amazing job, as well as all of the creative team, especially for the scare zones as well. I think SeaWorld Orlando's Hollow Scream is definitely worth a visit for sure. As of right now, that is going to be it. So let me know in the comments. Have you ever been to SeaWorld Hollow Scream or Halloween Spooktacular? I'd love to know. If you want to help support the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and follow for more. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.